Yo, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to another BK Reacts video. Before the video starts, I just want to wish everyone a happy Christmas. Uh, to those who celebrate, I do celebrate it. It is a great holiday, joyous holiday. Um, spend time with family, um, eat some good food, and uh, yeah. Anyways, today we are going to be doing our pre-game prediction for the Giants vs. Eagles game. I didn't bother to do it last week because, well, the New York Giants were playing the, the Dallas Cowboys and we all knew the outcome from the start. So, yeah, this week I will do it. So, the New York Giants are versing the Philadelphia Eagles, the red-hot Philadelphia Eagles. Now, the first time we played them, we ended up getting the win. Our defense played very, very well. Um, I think the offensive coordinator is going to switch it up for, for the Eagles because last time they had Jalen Hurts throw a lot and Jalen Hurts is, he's not that good of a thrower. He is more of a great runner and he honestly killed us with the run game. And if, if, you know, if they run it, then I think that they, that they could kill us again. And that's probably what they're going to do all game. And I, I'd be surprised if, if they don't. Um, Giants on offense, Jake Fromm is finally getting the start. I'm very, very pleased. Last game, he actually looked very, very promising. I mean, the whole game, Glenn had maybe 80, 80 yards in INT. Glenn, through four plays, already had like 78 yards or something like that. Um, the guy has, you know, coming out of college, I mean, obviously he, he led Georgia to the national championship back in 2018. Um, he, he was overlooked, I think, in, in the draft, um, so, uh, selected by the Bills, they ended up releasing him, we, si we signed him off of their practice squad, and now he's finally getting the start, because Glennon, in my opinion, he's just too old, Glennon is too old to actually start for us and make an impact, and I want to see what Fromm is able to do. I mean, the Eagles' defense is not that bad. They have a very, very good D-line. They got Fletcher Cox. They got Brandon Graham. Uh, they got Javon Hargrave, who's honestly had, like, a really, really good season. And I would be, I would not be shocked if – um, and, and actually, matter of fact, the Eagles, they're probably going to do some big things against our O-line because our O-line has just been utterly terrible. I mean, aside from Andrew Thomas, who's probably been – one of the best tackles in the league. And I know I hated him. I hated on him early in the season, especially because, you know, he cost us a lot against Washington, you know, losing our momentum with the two terrible penalties. Um, he's been very good. And, uh, I mean, aside from Xavier McKinney, there's no one really besides Andrew Thomas who I'd want to hold on to long term. Um, aside from him and, and Xavier McKinney. Um, yeah, and then um, Saquon Barkley, I I, I want to see what he's able to do against uh, the Eagles because he's just been he's just not been good. He has just not been good, and he he is still one of my favorite players, but he he's just not been good. And I hope that before the season is over, he can flip that switch and get back to his old form. But I just don't see it happening, unfortunately, and. It sucks because we're probably gonna have to trade him. Um, yeah, I I really didn't want that to happen. Um, it, it's come to a point where I don't know, man. He's just not explosive anymore. He's just not explosive at all. And uh, I won't go over it too much, but I think that the key in this game for the New York Giants, how we win this game and I'm not rooting for us to win, especially because I want us to have a better pick, but I will say uh, uh, we, this is definitely a winnable game for us. Um, like, like I, I don't want them to lose. It's just like, I wouldn't be mad if they lost. That's what I'm trying to say. I would not be mad if they lost. Um, though this is the Eagles. This is probably our biggest rivalry yet. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I think that, um, I think that the key for us is probably going to be uh, slinging it. I mean, Fromm is a very solid QB. And aside from Darius Slay, I mean, the Eagles really, 
they don't have anyone in the secondary aside from Darius Slay. Um, and if we can find Kenny Galladay more because he was open a lot and Fromm was able to find him, unlike freaking Jones and Glennon, like, I don't know. They just don't know how to, they're just not good. But Fromm looks like he makes really good reads. Um, if he, if we can run, um, especially with someone like Kadarius Tony, if we can run a post over the top in, uh, cover two, oh, hoo -hoo, that is going to be, that's going to be an Eagles killer right there. And, uh, I do believe that if, if we use Kadarius Tony, if we use Kenny Galladay more, then I think that this game is totally winnable for us. Um, totally, totally winnable. On defense, just do what we did the last time. I mean, uh, the the amount of, of turnovers we had against the Eagles was insane. I think we had four. And I, I, we need, we need to stop the run. That should be our priority on defense. Stopping the run should be our absolute number one priority. And I really hope Patrick Graham just doesn't play soft zone prevent at the end of the first half. Because we are terrible at the end of the first half with giving up points. And honestly, uh, 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 the end of or end of the first half, did I say second half? My bad. End of the first half, um, we're terrible at, like, we give up so many points. I think we're, I, th I read a stat. We're outscored 50, like, like 50 or 60 something to nothing. I mean, that is terrible. And it, it, all we have to do is just hold them. All we have to do is hold them. And if we're able to do that, then we'll be looking pretty good because that's how they get a lot of their momentum. We were in it with the Chargers until um they had that uh 50 yard touchdown because our defense just does not know how to play the end of the first half. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your Christmas. Peace.